Hi everyone, today is Saturday, June 13, 2015. Well, I'm at my front yard. Uh, I just finished digging a really, really big hole here uh, in preparation for this avocado tree that we're going to plant in this, in this massive hole. Well, I call it massive because I, I have to dig it with, you know, shovel and hole digger right here. The hole is about four feet in diameter and two feet deep uh, and I also amend the soil pretty nicely and I'll show you the amendments that I, I, I put in there but first let me let me talk a little bit about the tree that we're gonna plant so this is one of the avocado this is one of the dwarf variety avocado as you can see here uh, and it's a hybrid variety so that's good now avocado come from South America uh, Mexico Guatemala uh, and somewhat it's subtropic and tropical region, so they don't like they don't like too cold. But this variety can stand the the, the cold temperature. And in order to do well, um, they have to be somewhat somewhat hybridized, hybridized to to suit for the weather and for the climate zone. Okay, and it's also say that this on this tag is also say that uh, this plant is protected. From problematic aphids, white flies, beetles, mealy bugs, and other unwanted pests. So that's kind of good. And now this tree, this dwarf variety, will grow up to about maybe 10 feet to 12 feet tall, and maybe 5 to 10 feet wide, depending on how much you prune it. So that's be perfect. Uh, normal avocado tree will grow to maybe even 30 feet tall, and it will cover you know, 40 feet in diameter. So it's a very big tree. Avocados is a humongous tree. And I don't want such a large tree in my yard because I have other other tree here as well. Uh, having a really big tree will, will pretty much cover everything else and will shade out everything else. So this, this dwarf variety will be perfect for my garden. Now it's about maybe two and a half feet tall now. The, the base of the plant is pretty nice. It's pretty thick, okay? It's pretty decent. It's two and a half feet tall on top right here now. Now I set it here, I said this is a five gallon. I set it down to make sure I have the level with the soil, soil line. The, the depth of it actually go deeper, but of course, like I say, I have to level with the soil line. And then after that, I will backfill with the, uh, with the soil. Okay, so what I did to, to amend the soil. First of all, I dig out my soil. Okay, let's mention about the soil first. This is a heavy, heavy clay soil. So I dug out roughly about four of this you see that five gallon bucket of heavy heavy clay soil and I dump it in my other part of my garden over somewhere over there so I dug out about over four five gallon buckets and then I amend the soil with a lot of um, with some sand like this right here sand uh, gypsum and I have a lot of steer manure for for quick nitrogen because the plant do need nitrogen in the beginning just to get settled and grow and I also add a lot of uh, perlite for fluffiness, uh, drainage, drainage, and of course my favorite, my favorite of all the time is the organic super warm casting. That's one of my favorite. I add this to almost every plant, every tree, plant, shrub, whatever, peppers that I grow, tomatoes, everything. Now this one I bought from the store because I kind of like went out of warm casting. Uh, so eventually I will add some of my compost and warm casting to, to this plant later on as it, as, it, as it growing. Okay, so in order to, to make sure, to ensure that the plant will do well, you have to really amend the soil. This, this soil is, is so heavy that I don't think anything will grow, any roots will be able to develop. So at least have it four, diameter, four, four feet in diameter, I think that's a good, that's a good uh, start. And eventually the surrounding here will be also be wet and moist. I will water it. So it will be like mulch covering the plant and, and keep the plant somewhat uh, somewhat moist, but also with good well drainage. Okay, so I'm gonna set this plant in and I'm back here with all the soil. And hopefully I was able to show you a continuous video. If not, I will show you the second part later on. And then I will continue to update you guys on this tree. And avocado is one of my favorite tree. The fruit is highly, highly nutritious. It contains some good fatty uh, protein and fats. So 
is an excellent, excellent tree fruit to grow. And by the way, avocado fruit do not ripe, do not ripen on the vine on the tree. So be perfect. Well, until you want, until you 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 ready to pick them, then you pick them, and they they will ripen after you pick them. Otherwise, leave them on the tree, and they will stay like that. So that's really a good, good, good way of harvesting each fruit at a time. Okay, so let me go back to work. Uh, the digging part is, is the hardest part. <laughs> so that was a tough, tough task. I could, I, I, I wouldn't believe, you wouldn't believe it. Uh, this is really a tough uh, undertaking to dig out a big hole like this. And I'm breaking, a, really breaking a sweat in this hot sun. Okay, well thank you for watching, and please tune in, and I will update you guys on this video, this tree, and if you like this video, oh, there's a little recipe in here, if you like this video, uh, and if you like this video, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to our channel, and post a comment if you like, and thank you for watching, we'll see you soon, happy gardening!